makota nino mama tamu kama kota nino mama tamu kama kwaya nino mama tamu kama kota dare the women of Nigeria. They are the backbone of the nation's agriculture sector. Due to the heavy concentration of female labor on Nigeria's farms, women contribute more than 7 trillion of Nigeria's 10 trillion Naira agricultural output. Despite their vital participation in Nigeria's economy, Public and social norms exclude many rural women from influencing decisions about their farms. In one study conducted in Kaduna State, 69% of the women surveyed had no participation in making decisions about their farms' activities. However, some businesses in Nigeria have recognized the vital role women play in agriculture and are actively providing them with the information and credit they need to increase their incomes. The money they earn gives women more choice and decision-making power. My name is Grace Yusu from Taraba State. Notori taught me about how to farm and how to use fertilizer on the farm and how to sell it in the market. Before, we don't know how to use the fertilizer in the farm, but now Notori came and taught us how we will use the fertilizer on the farm before you will get much. Then from there, if you get much, you will use some to the market and get, gain money. Then you will use some and keep it at home and eat it with your family. And now in place, two people that are under me that every market we do use to carry the fertilizer to the market and sell it to the farmer. Sunana, Mrs. Alabauga Thomas, neither the other mama Sydney. One thing she cut her, Monsa mu training a can no man zamani, Mussamana and Fanny the Taki no notori, Moya and Fanny the she, Mungida Dinshi, Megida Naya Carvishawara, Monsama and Fanny one the Bumtaba Samuaba. So a haka one and she cut her, Megida Naya would the moon gone and kaina. She maya sake buddha gona. Couldn't the Muka and Fanny the she want and she cut her the Muka Samu. When Nigeria's rural women have more income, they choose to invest in areas important to the growth of their farms and families. Nigeria needs to promote businesses, public programs and policies that increase women's access to farm imputes, knowledge and agricultural credit. For example, in Kano State, the Bank of Agriculture piloted a program to provide small loans to groups of women to improve their parboiling businesses. So when I had a Jaramatu, the Gakura Kano State, a Jaramatu, the Zazaba Chisana, Atana, Karbubash, and Banki, then the Karabunk as a Kasu and China, Kuma de Noma, Niki, Ness, and Rivers, the Zapa and Hanajin, Noma, Kuma Achikiri, and Man at Oka, the Geneva Yarana, Makut of Makaranta de Yagama. Sauran kuma sana yi ana ganin girma ta a garin mu mata su ma sana kokarin yanzu za su je su ma in musu hanya sai su karbo bashin bankin su ma sai sana'ar The Center for Women and Adolescents is an organization that uh, when we say empowerment so we empower women These women we gather them from all over the around us so that uh, we train them to be entrepreneurs uh, and also to make money for themselves, not for at the center. We also went out advocating on radio and TV. The government had us and they called us, we discussed, and now they have open skill centers for women. Any decision-making body is good for a woman to be in. Let women be there and know what they want for themselves because they tell what they want, but you can't decide for somebody. You let that person decide for himself. Women are vital contributors to the economic and social development of this country. Their opinions and interests need to be included in policy decisions and business strategies. As economic actors who invest in their families today, women are laying the foundations for the Nigeria of tomorrow.